Hi, this is Lanata Mugwan, and um, I want you to think about something when you're watching this video. Use um, the concoction that I make for my moisture regimen. Use it as a foundation. I don't want you to um, just mix what I'm mixing and then say, oh, it doesn't work for me because everybody's hair is different. If you kind of think of your hair as a plant, not that your hair grows out of the ground, but think of your hair as a plant. There are many types of plants. There are tall plants, short plants, long plants. There are different types of plants. Each plant is unique in that some require more water than others, which is the same as our hair. Some hair requires more than others. And as the weather changes, your hair might require another change. Like in some types of weather, you need to cover it up. Some plants don't need to be covered. So I want you to take this video and think about what is gonna work for you. Everything that I use may not work for you or it may work for you, but I need you to think as you watch the video of things that you can find that will help you to retain moisture. Now, since moisture is key in order for your hair to be healthy, just like a plant needs moisture, every plant needs water. Some need to be watered maybe like once a day, some frequently throughout the day. Some may need to be watered maybe um, once out of the week. So think of your hair as something that needs a lot of moisture and how this video will benefit you to help you come up with your own regimen of how to keep your hair moisturized. And if you wanna use the same things I used, more power to you. If you don't, that's fine. But the reason for this video is to help you to be able to make your own moisture mix. But this um, moisture mix that I have, I came up with it on my own because I would try to do like, um, I would do the conditioner and they would add the um, an oil, but it wasn't working for me. And I realized when I put them together and I added it to my hair, my hair liked it better. I could go, you know, a couple of days without even adding moisture to my hair when I do this. I even use it like after I wash my hair, when I put them back up in the twists, after I rinse out all the, um, the deep conditioner and I wash the scalp, after I do that, and then I condition the strands with a different conditioner after I wash out the deep conditioner. Then I apply this moisture mix to my hair while it's wet and then I um, twist it up. And so I wait till my hair dries so that I can apply it again. But um, I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for subscribing and um, hopefully this will help you to come up with your own moisture mix. Grow healthy and long. Hi, this is Elena Tamuk One, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I make my um, Kinky Curly Knot Today mixture with my olive oil and also the essential oils. Now I use the extra virgin olive oil. You can use any olive oil. This is the only, this is one that I just had um, because I finished the other one. And then I'm going to be um, adding rosemary to it. I have my dropper for the rosemary and then I'm also adding basil and of course I have the, the kinky curly the spoon and the bowl now this one is just um, what's left over from my previous ones so I'm gonna be um, adding it inside here and I'll show you how I do that okay so let's get started One other thing I'm going to be needing is a bag. I usually use this because it's a lot easier. So what I usually do is I take the Kinky Curly, not today, and I pour as much as I can because I need to fill up this container.
Okay, so I'm going to do about that much. That leaves like maybe I guess a third of this left over. Which is pretty good, so it should fill it to maybe about right here on this one. Okay. So then after that, after I filled it with the mat today, then I don't really usually measure, but um, I pour in, I try to pour in a little under the same amount. And I take my spoon and I begin to stir it. You notice it's taking on a yellow consistency now. It's starting to look a little yellowish. It has a little bit of lumps, and it's it's gonna start to begin to get um, to become smooth. In fact, I think I need a little bit more olive oil. So I'm gonna add a little bit. to change a little bit more. You notice it's a little bit more smoother, the look of it. Now, olive oil is really good for your scalp and for your hair. It actually found out when I did some research, it helps to keep um, the testosterone turning into the DHT, which is something that I love because since I had shed and I stopped the shedding I want to keep it I want to prevent it see now the consistency is how I like it now I'm gonna take rosemary I'm gonna add 10 drops one two two three four five Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I may have squeezed it a little too much, but that's okay. I'm going to clean this off because I don't want to mess up my table. Okay, now I'm going to add 10 drops of the basil. And excuse my nails. Being a mom, you don't really have time to do your nails any chance you get. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I prefer to add 10 because um, that's what I notice helps me. You can add less if you want, or you can. I I wouldn't really add too much because you want to make sure that you don't put too much essential oil. But if you prefer to add less, you can. Okay. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more olive oil. I want it a little bit more creamier. change it out but as soon as I finish using all of this one and everything's cleaned out from here then I'll start using this one so what I do is I take the tip of this here and I kind of oops well it's not the tip anymore let me get another bag hold on
what I do is I take the tip of the bag and I just tear off a little bit. Now, just want to make sure there's an opening there. You can use scissors if you want to. Okay, now I tore off the corner. So what I'm going to do is I take this and I pour it into, oops, pour it into the bag. The rest that's here in the bowl, I'll just use that until all of it's completely gone. I'll put it on my hair throughout the day tomorrow. I'll close the Ziploc bag. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze it into my bottle. Now you don't necessarily have to do this with the not today. If you prefer another um, leave-in conditioner or if you prefer um, a conditioner, then that's fine. But the not today works really good for my hair. When I was, um, I didn't know I was transitioning. When I first started, I just decided to not, you know, relax my hair anymore. But on my, um, I guess you would call it journey, um, I used the Not Today and the Curling Custard. And that really moisturized my hair. Okay, so now we have the finished product. So now I have a container full of my Not Today olive oil mixture with my two essential oils and now this will last me maybe a week it uh maybe about two weeks because sometimes i use it for my daughter's hair as well and if i feel my hair needs more moisture then it might last me a week and a half but usually it lasts me about two weeks but um, that concludes um, my uh, mixture that I make. I hope that uh, this video helped you some way. Um, you, can, you don't necessarily have to use olive oil. You can use a different oil if you choose to. I just prefer olive oil because I notice olive oil works really well with my hair and it moisturizes it. And the reason why I do this mixture is because mixing, um, I guess they call it the lock method, which is the liquid the I think it's liquid oil and cream or I might have it backwards I don't I, I don't um, remember but for me this works best if I do it separately because I used to do it separate where I would have this and then I would put my oil that doesn't work for me it works better like this and I notice that my hair can go like two days without me having to put anything on it which is perfect so um, I hope this video helped you in some way. Um, please stay tuned for um, my other upcoming videos. And the first person to make a comment about this video will be the winner of um, the conditioner that I had mentioned in my um, other video, in my other video that I uploaded, which is called Moisture is the Key. So stay tuned for my next video and y'all have a wonderful, um, time. Thank you. Let me tell you one. Bye.